Okay, now that you have created a standardized mouse event object that can handle cross-browser programming, let's take a look at handling the mouse down event. So this is when the user presses the mouse button over the television or any other object, and we first get a standard mouse event for cross-browser programming, as you already saw the mouse event. Then you add a listener. This is how dragging and dropping works in modern browsers. You add a listener to the mouse move and mouse up events. So you can catch mouse move and mouse up events. What you do is you add listener, mouse move event, and this you connect the mouse move event to a handle move function, as you see here, and the mouse up event, when the user releases the mouse button to the handle up event, handle up a function, as you see here, and here's how you add the listener. This adds a listener to the mouse event type you want to watch, and the function that should be called when that type of event occurs, a mouse up or mouse move event. The actual code differs by browser, as you can see here, and this is for the Internet Explorer, and this is for Netscape brand browsers, including Firefox. And so this adds a listener. So this lets you then tune in on the mouse move and mouse up events in these functions, handle move and handle up, handle move and handle up. So now we're connected to the handle, to the mouse move and mouse up events, and we're also going to store the offset of the mouse pointer in the television icon. The reason you want to store the offset is because if the user places the mouse pointer in the middle of the icon and starts moving the icon around, the television icon around, you want to preserve the offset of the mouse pointer inside the television icon when you start moving the television icon. So that's the reason you store the offset of the mouse pointer inside the television icon. You get the offset by saying e dot x, that's the x location of the mouse inside the television, and you subtract the e dot target, remember that's the, that corresponds to the HTML element in which the mouse pointer is in, in which the mouse event happened, that's the television, dot style dot left, that gives you the left coordinate, the left coordinate of the television's position, and you say e dot x minus the left position, left coordinate of the television icon, and that gives you the x offset of the mouse inside the television icon. Similarly, you get the y offset of the mouse pointer inside the television icon this way. So e dot y minus parsent e dot target dot style dot top, and that gives you the location of the, in other words, the offset, the position of the mouse pointer inside the television icon. You want to get that location because you want to preserve it as you move the television icon around. And then we're also going to clear the target div, which is the div element that displays the text. You just bought a nice television. You want to clear that as soon as the mouse goes down. And then when the user starts dragging, the mouse. We've connected the handle move function to the mouse move event. So as soon as the mouse move event occurs, then you're going to want to move the television to match. And you first get a standardized mouse event for cross-browser programming like this. And then you can say the x, the new x location of the television should be the x location of the mouse minus the offset inside the television icon, and that is a new x location of the television icon, and then you set that e dot target, which is the television icon dot style dot left, equals x plus px, which stands for pixels, just to show that measurement is in pixels. So that, laboriously, gives you the new location, the new x coordinate of the television as you move the mouse. Similarly, you can find the new Y location of the television icon as you move the mouse, as the user moves the mouse this way, and you can set the new 
Y location this way, and when you do set the new X and Y style coordinates of the television icon, then that moves the icon around on the on the web page. So that handles the handles the down the mouse down event and the mouse move event. So now you're able to drag the television icon around at will. Next up comes the handle up function, which allows you to handle the case where the user releases the mouse button. In other words, is dropping the television icon somewhere in the web page and you have to check to see whether or not it is inside the shopping cart. If it is inside the shopping cart, we're going to notify the server. So that's up next is the handle up event. So, so far you have allowed the user to grab the television icon and to drag it. Next up is the is letting the user drop the television icon inside the shopping cart.